configure OSPF advanced features, addressing table for R1, R2, R3, R1, R2, R3, and PC1, PC2, PC3, PC1, PC2, PC3. Uh, this is the cloud for internet and this is a web server on internet. Modify OSPF default settings. Test connectivity between all devices. Okay. Before modifying the OSPF settings, verify that all PCs can ping the web server and each other. For example, go to PC1, click here and command prompt and ping PC2. From PC1, ping PC2. PC2 IP address is 172.16.22. 172.16.22. Success. From PC1 ping PC3. PC3 IP address is 192.168.12. Okay, 192.168.12. Enter. Success. And ping web server. From PC1 ping web server. Ping. 64, 100, 12. Success. Adjust the hello and that timers between R1 and R2. Okay, this is R1 and R2. Enter the following commands on R1. Interface serial 000. Interface serial 000, okay, is the connection between R1 and R2. The hello interval to 15 seconds and that interval to 60 seconds. Okay, go to R1 and modify that. Okay. Enter, enable, configure terminal interface serial 000. IP OSPF hello dash interval 15 seconds okay and and that interval that interval to 60 seconds enter after a short period of time the OSPF connection with R2 will fail both sides of the connection need to have the same timers for the adjacency to be maintained. Adjust the timers on R2. Okay, neighbor down, neighbor down. Okay. The another side on R2 should be configured with the same parameters. And is serial 000 on R2. Go to R2. Enter, enable, configure, terminal, interface, zero, 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 zero. IP, OSPF, hello, dash, interval, 15 seconds. And that interval, that interval, 60 seconds. Okay. And wait a moment. And now you have an adjacency, uh, the adjacency between R2 and R1 is re-established, okay? Look at on R1, adjacency with R2, so the adjacency between R1 and R2 is re-established. And you can verify on R1, for example, enter and exit. Exit again and show IP OSPF interface. And now you can see on um, you can see on serial zero 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 the 
hello interval is 15 seconds and that interval 60 seconds and if you see serial 001 the another interface the connection to r3 the hello interval by default is 10 seconds and the dead interval by default is 40 seconds adjust the band wide settings on r1 trace the path between pc1 and the web server located 64 you go to pc1 and trace the path tracer tracer 64 enter and now you can see four hops the first hop is 172.16.11 and 172.16.11 is the IP address of gigabit uh, 00 on R1 on R1 gigabit 00, 172.16.11 the second line is 172.16.32 172.16.32 in is the IP address of serial 00 on R2 serial 000 on R2 172.16.32 okay uh, third line is 209.165.200.226 and this is the IP address of a router on internet cloud okay because uh, R2 has the IP address 209.165.200.225 but uh, this is 226 so 226 is placed on internet cloud and finally this line is the IP address of the web server okay. the IP address of the web server so the path is PC1, R1, R2, the cloud and web server Notice that the path from PC1 to 641012 is routed through R2. OSPF prefers the lower cost path. On the R1 serial 000 interface, set the bandwidth to 64 kilobits per second. Okay. On serial 000 on R1, set the bandwidth to 64 kilobits per second. This does not change the actual power speed, only the metric that the OSPF process on R1 will use to calculate the best routes. So use this command, R1 bandwidth 64. Okay, 64 kilobits per second. Go to R1, enter, configure terminal interface 0000, 000, 000 bandwidth 64 kilobits per second. By kilobits, 64 kilobits per second. Enter. Okay, and verify. And show interfaces. Space, 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 space. And you can see uh, serial 000, 000 bandwidth 64 kilobits per second. And also you can see serial 001. By default, the bandwidth is 1,544 kilobits per second. Okay. So, verify with another command, show OSPF, and use show IP OSPF interface, show IP OSPF interface. And you can see uh, space, uh, you can see serial 00, zero the bandwidth is 64 kilobits per second, so the cost is higher, is 1,562 cost. With serial 001, the cost for the default bandwidth, the default bandwidth for serial 001 is, is 1,544 kilobits per second, so the cost is 64. And here you can see uh, OSPF, OSPF prefers the lower cost path. So 64 is a lower cost than 1,562. 
So serial 001 will be preferred. So serial 001 on R1 will be preferred. So band Y here is uh, so band Y here is 1,544 kilobits per second. And cost is uh, this is band wide and cost is uh, 64. Okay, on R1. And here for serial 000, the band wide is 64 kilobits per second and cost is 1,562. Okay, 1,562. Okay, so lower cost is preferred or higher bandwidth. And serial 001 will be preferred. This another interface serial 001 will be preferred. Okay. Trace the path between PC1 and the web server located at 64.100.12. Ping from PC1 to web server. Click here and repeat the tracer 64.100.12. Okay. Before, only four hops and now five hops. 172.16.11 is the IP address of gigabit 00 on R1. 192.168.10.6 is the IP address of serial 00 on R3. On R3, serial 00, 192.168.10.6. Okay, 10.6. is placed on R2. And 209.165.200.226 is an IP address on a router in the cloud. And 64.100.12 is the IP address of the web server. The IP address of the web server. So the path is PC1, R1, R3, R2, Internet Cloud, and web server. Five hops. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, is uh, redirected th through R3. So OSPF prefers the lower cost path. And verify connectivity. From PC1, ping PC2, PC2 IP addresses 172.16.22. 172.16.22, success. Ping PC3, 192.168.12. Success and ping web server. Sixty four one hundred one. Success. Completion one hundred percent. Thank you very much.